Hello and welcome to 17th session of ASME B31.3 course. This is Ali and I hope you are doing well. In this episode, I'm going to talk about pressure design of miter bend. Miter bend could be used to change the pipe direction. Miter bend is made up through fabricating the numbers of pipe pieces, segments. However, Using this fabricated fitting is not popular in process piping which is designed based on ASME B31.3. You may have heard that it's not allowed to use miter bend in process piping or we are allowed to use it only in utility services. Such statements about miter bends are not accurate. In this episode, we would like to clarify such uncertainties referring to the code and a standard. As a recommendation, the general rule should be that any claim in piping should be verified by referring to the code, standard, and specification. Please search about the philosophy behind any claim. I hope you find this course beneficial to reach this goal. In paragraph 304.2.3 of ASME B31.3, the code specifies requirement for using miter bend. I'm going to follow that criteria with an example to reveal the reasons caused for limited usage of miter bend in projects. In figure 304.2.3 of B31.3, you can find nomenclature of miter bend used for calculation of PM, maximum allowable internal pressure for miter bends. The miter bend which has been made by two segments, one cut, named a single miter bend and a miter bend is called a multiple miter bend with three or more segments, two or more cuts. Please note that single miter bend is rarely used. So I am going to focus on pressure design of multiple miter bends in this episode. Based on clause A of paragraph 304.2.3. The maximum allowable internal pressure, PM, shall be lesser value calculated from equations 4A and 4B. These equations are not applicable when theta exceeds 22.5 degrees. Therefore, we should calculate PM in bus formulas and consider the lesser as a PM to compare it with design pressure. If PM is less than design pressure, we can use this miter. Otherwise, we should choose one of solutions as follow. 1. Increase the number of cuts. 2. Increase the radius of bend. 3. Increase the thickness of pipe used for fabrication of miter bend. 4. Use elbow instead of miter bend. In episode 13 of our course on ASME B31.3, the calculation of the wall thickness of pipe was covered. Let's assume that those conditions are also applicable and we want to calculate PM for 90 degrees multiple miter bend made from pipe with the same thickness equals schedule number 80. I use Microsoft Excel to create the formulas. You are familiar with all parameters in 4A except R2 and theta. Please note that D, S, E, W, T bar and C are same as defined in paragraph 304.1.1 used for wall thickness calculation of pipe in 4A formula. R2 means radius of pipe using nominal wall, T bar. You can use figure 304.2.3 to calculate this parameter by subtracting OD from selected wall thickness and dividing the result by 2. And theta, angle of miter cut equals bend angle divides number of miter or cut divides 2. I want to start calculation of PM for miter with two cuts, three segments. I will increase the number of cuts if PM results less than design pressure. The bend angle of our example is 90 degrees. 
Therefore, theta equals 90 divides 2 divides 2 equals 22.5 degrees. These equations are applicable because theta doesn't exceed 22.5 degrees. By implementation of mentioned parameters in 4A formula in Excel, the PM equals 919 PSI. Don't worry if you couldn't create formula during this episode. You can access this Excel file in our website associated with this episode. To calculate PM based on 4B, we should define two new parameters. R1, effective radius of miter bend, defined as the shortest distance from the pipe center line to the intersection of the plans of adjacent mitre joints shown in figure 304.2.3 it's up to you to select the mitre radius it can be 1d 1.5d 2d 3d 5d 7d etc in this example first i want to select radius equals to 1.5d same as long radius elbow to proceed for compliance with ASME B31.3 code, the value of R1 shall not be less than that given by equation 5. In equation 5, A for customary unit will be 2 multiple T minus C when T minus C is greater than 0.5 and less than 0.88 that is applicable for our example. By implementing A, we should calculate R1 from equation 5 and compare it to the selected R1 as 1.5D. You can see that our selected R1 is greater than R1 from equation 5 that complies with B31.3 code requirements and we can calculate the PM based on 4B. For our example, the PM that was calculated from equation 4A is less than 4B. Therefore, based on the code, the maximum allowable internal pressure shall be 919 pound square inch. In this example, you can see that there is a significant difference between the maximum allowable internal pressure that can be sustained by mitre bend 919 PSI and design pressure 1380 psi actually there is a reason for unpopularity of mitre bend by adding the number of pieces of pipe segments used for fabrication or increasing r1 as an affecting radius of mitre bend we can increase the maximum allowable internal pressure of mitre bend let's increase the number of cuts to three or four segments and check the criteria you can see that pm is still significantly less than design pressure using excel can make it easier to check when number of cuts leads to pm equal or greater than design pressure for our example you can see that the number of cuts shall be eight to exceed the design pressure however you can imagine how difficult it would be if we want to fabricate mitre with eight segments. In addition, cutting and welding pieces of pipe impose considerable cost on the project. Comparing to using long radius elbow, it's recommended to use maximum of five cuts for each mitre bend. Therefore, adding segments is not the solution of this challenge. Another way to increase the maximum allowable internal pressure is selecting pipe with greater thickness to fabricate mitre capable of sustaining design pressure of this example. But I'm not going to check this option because in this case, I prefer to use factory made raw steel long radius elbow with the thickness same as the pipe. This is the philosophy behind using elbow instead of using mitre. However, if you select the pipe with greater thickness for mitre fabrication, you should check the criteria of class C of paragraph 
3.04.2.3 till now we have focused on equation 4a because 4a was by far less than 4b but it's beneficial to have a look at 4b formula by selecting greater mitre radius we can increase the maximum allowable internal pressure in this formula you can see that selecting 2d mitre band will resolve the maximum allowable pressure greater than design pressure however this solution is not applicable because of considerable difference with 4a in this example theoretically we can use 90 degrees mitre band fabricated by five cuts for design pressure less than 1276 psi but using this mitre band in design conditions of our example is not allowed based on asme b31.3 furthermore please note that highly skilled welders and fitters are required for perfect mitre band preparation all dimension of cut pipe will be calculated by trigonometry relations in addition this fabricated fitting will cause higher pressure drop and turbulence and risk of corrosion that shall be checked by designer simultaneously in this episode we only focused on pressure design of mitre band i hope you find this session beneficial in next episode i will talk about strength of branch connection based on ASME B31.3. Thanks for being with us.